Here's how to fix Safari cannot open the page because your iPhone is not connected to the internet. Now, if you're getting an error message that looks like this, it says Safari cannot open the page because your iPhone is not connected to the internet when you're trying to get to various websites, google.com in this case. The first thing you can do is head into your settings here. And we're gonna first start by just turning on airplane mode waiting a few seconds and turning it back off. This will disconnect from your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cell network, and then reconnect to all three of those, a lot of times fixing issues with your phone. Now, if that doesn't fix it, let's scroll to the very bottom and tap on apps. From here, let's scroll down and we're gonna look for the Safari option. So scroll down, tap on Safari. Now, let's scroll down again to the very bottom and tap on advance at the very bottom. You can see at the very top is website data. Let's tap on that. This will show you every single website you have visited, including the data that it is downloaded onto your device. There could be an issue with your specific device and the data on here. So just hit remove data and remove. Just like that, you have deleted out all of those cache and cookie files on your phone and you should be good to go. However, if it's still not working, Let's go back out of here. Let me go to the very beginning and we will tap on general at the bottom. From here, we're gonna scroll down and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And we're gonna hit on reset and we'll choose the second option, reset network settings. There could be an issue with your phone's connection to your network. This is Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth, as well as your cellular network. And just by resetting all of these settings back to factory default, a lot of times fixes bugs or glitches with you not able to connect and load up various websites. Now, after we've done that and updated everything and brought all the network settings back to factory default, let's go back here and I'm still in the general section of settings, I'm gonna tap on software update. You'd be surprised how many times bugs or glitches are just fixed by updating to the latest iOS operating system, because again, they bake in a lot of bugs and fixes into those operating systems. So update to the latest version, and that again, a lot of times fixes your issues. And if it doesn't, let's go back here. The last thing I would recommend doing is hitting the shutdown button at the very bottom. So just restarting your phone, shut it down, wait a few seconds and reboot it again. A lot of times that fixes issues with people having problems on their phone. And in this case with Safari or any other web browser loading up websites and not being able to load them or not having the internet connection to be able to load those up. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys.